The line that goes. See how long it takes him. So he just he just closed that window right there. How long how long you been waiting? I got in line at one twelve. One twelve? What time is it now? Twenty-four minutes. Twenty-four minutes. He just. I gotta pick up my daughter at two thirty, so no matter what, I'm out of here. Two, wow. Two ten maybe. Okay. So you've been waiting. You said twenty minutes, right? Twenty-two. Yeah. Twenty minutes. Why well, this guy's gonna open up now? We'll see how he works out. I guess he's gonna put his money in. He went back over there, so. They closed my box. I've had a box here for twenty-four years. They closed it. They closed your box? Yeah, maybe I was late. Fine, no problem. I talked to the lady. She said, I never do this. She came out with a lock. The last lady, she was trying to box it. Uh -huh. She changed the lock right in front of me, gave me the key. You know, I was trying to explain, you know, I'm sorry I put you through this. You know, right. It's her job. I shouldn't have to do that, but mm -hmm. you know, it's not like I'm getting it for free. So she did it. And uh, I haven't been here in like a week because I live in Bray. So mm -hmm. I used to go over here, so, but I left the box here. And I come over here to check it two or three days ago, and there was a piece of card in the back of the game, and they just blocked. I was in block when I just repaid everything, caught up three hundred something dollars. Mm, that's a scam away. they've been doing. They, they they try that with me too. They um. Post office. They tell you they put the they they tell you they put a notice in your box and they don't put a notice there in your you box. Because I said I don't know nothing about that. They tried that with me too. I said there's no notice in the box. I check my mail all the time. Yeah, you will. That's what. And I, she said the bright orange it. paper, right? Yeah, Never like, ever. How are you not gonna remember that? Yeah, they lied to you. So, that's what she said. I said, so that lady no longer works in them, or the one that said it, the Asian girl? Well, the one that's in charge of the box is at the end right now. The Asian girl's gone. She's gone, yeah. The lady yeah. that's in charge, she was probably helping that lady. Mm -hmm. is the last lady right now. So, so if she wasn't here, they would tell me, can't do nothing for you. You'd have to see Nancy, whatever, because she's in charge of the box. So uh -huh. I'm lucky that only she's here, I don't have to look for her. She's in the window. Gotcha. And I say, how do I pay three hundred dollars a week to run my box for you? Well, who knows how much mail has come in the past week that they sent back to a center? Oh, they, that's they, what they do. They send it back. They send it back. Yeah. They don't hold they, it for you. Wow. They told me when I first saw the blocks, I was actually, it was like, we've been sending your mail back for two weeks. I was like, what? That's crazy. You don't hold it for at least a month. You don't know what could have been in that mail. Send it back. They don't even notify you? I didn't get notified. And once they get it back, they cross that address off their list. They'll never send it back there because they're thinking you're gone. Wow, that's Over crazy. That. I don't know who I have to notify. Well, by the way, I do have that box number, the same one back, because mm -hmm. I don't know what they sent back. Right, they, they might have sent them something different. Like, mm -hmm. This person no longer lives here or something yeah, like that. Right, right. And it's hell seeing a manager here. Now, do they tell you what, they don't, they don't have a manager here. Is that what it is? Yeah, I, I asked for a mansion. They don't have a mansion. And even, even when they did, though, years ago, mm -hmm. they never produced one. In this post office, they, never, they don't have a postmaster. I, I tried to talk to the postmaster. Yeah. For this post office, there's no such thing as a post postmaster. That's why they're all out of order. They yeah, because if you doubt it, you go up there and ask them who's the postmaster for this building right here. He, who he or she is never here, and they're never going to give you an accurate name. Right, right. Because the office. Right here. They used to tell me, bang on that door, and if he opens it, if he opens it, he opens it, if he can't, like, <laughs> kind of shit that. Everybody has a right to see a man. Right. You do service, I'm going to the next level. Correct. You might not have the right to see the vice president, the, the regional general manager, but the man of the post office want to talk to him. I don't like what you just did. Mm -hmm. You need to speak to someone above you. Never did I need to make no, no, no. I stopped even bothering. Yeah, no, I'm going to ask, when I get up there, I'm going to ask him who's the... Who's the postmaster for this? For this area. For this area, or just for this for this building, we're saying. And they, won't and, and they should know. Because they're gonna go. Oh, he's about to complain about something. I know how they move it. But they should. But they're supposed to tell of you, though. They're supposed to. By law, they're supposed to tell you. They have to tell you. Like, you yeah. For me. Then I don't want to know who to vote. I might want to give him a phone call and ask him some they questions. Can't, they're, legally, they have to give it. I can't tell you. Or they say, no, I want the info. That's crazy. It's interesting, though. Post office is nuts. So all the, they got all the rejects down here, I guess. Yeah, cool. That's what he told me. Uh, all the rejects. He's a white guy. He's Greek. Mm -hmm. I hate to tell you, bro. Your friend, my long time. We're both Marines. Uh, they send all the rejects to <laughs> Let Let you all deal with the rejects. Uh, that's crazy. Ain't nobody in Western or Brooklyn or Needham dealing with rejects, bro. Only here. Go in their post office down there one day. You see how efficient it is? Mm -hmm. How kind the of people are behind them? No big smiles on them. Yeah, everybody looks angry. Like they want to get out. Yeah, it's tired of the yeah, it's bad. That's crazy. 
That's interesting, Josh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Some people just dropped out, of, like the two ladies that were behind you, they yeah, dropped they out of line. They had to go. They were like, forget this, I can't even wait. Probably it's been like 30 minutes. I told my friend in the car, said, so he'll be about 10 minutes, he'll be back by 125, it was 112. Wow. I can tell he's aggravated when I claim, what do you want me to do? Mm -hmm. He ride with me, I ain't riding with you. <laughs> well, you're the driver. I'm taking you on errands, yes. There you go. I'm taking them around to do errands, you know, so you just going to have to wait 20 minutes or 30 minutes. what it is. I wait for you. Come on, there's Miss Babin. Is any chance? Can we have a cold hand, please? That's interesting. Every time I come here, I always wonder how long it takes to do a transaction. I'm a big numbers guy, too. I try to figure all that stuff out. No then you got the language barrier, the truth is all. Mm-hmm. What? I don't understand. What are you saying? Uh, no, you can't do that. The whole 20 minute instructional period. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, yeah, he can't speak the language. That's tough. It's a whole 20 minute period, especially if you're mailing a box. And you don't understand the insurance. And where does it go? How does this work? Covers? That's a whole instructional period. That's a whole mm -hmm. half an hour. They should have more than just an instructional period. Oh. It's windows for people that want to learn. It's that way. I can't get mad. Right. You've been there asking because I'm going to be doing the same thing in a minute. You mm. understand this? How do you do this? Okay. Well, they can have a, like a tutorial that shows you how to mail a package. Something. You know. That's what a good manager would do. Yeah, he's been here long enough. You already got two people ahead of you. So you might as well just wait. I might as well wait. I only got ten left. I might as well wait. That's true. I should have left a long time ago. Mm-hmm. You can't miss five. You might as well stay there. I'm like, we should have left in the beginning. I'm not leaving now. I know the movie's terrible, but we're going to watch these last 20 terrible minutes. Right. You already can't miss five. He always does it. Mm-mm. Mm -mm. You're right, though. I find it amusing that, you know, the, like the, the time it takes them to do a trend. I, then again, we don't know what kind of transactions he's doing, but they should, they should limit those transactions from being that difficult, though. Just like the grocery store, they have 12 items or less, you know? Right. They should have those type of windows. You should have a window for, like, express meal yeah, and only. Right. Yeah. Pick up and meal and only. Then, it's, then don't come on the day they're doing passports because that whole window will be tied up for passports. I don't even know what days to do passports. And it's, and it's from like 8 to 11 or something. Some, like some weird, hours. something weird like that. I just did mine like a year ago here. She know it. She got it. She's stepping on a cord on her foot. She she has to. She's stepping on that, right? She's got two cords hanging from her jacket. Oh, social media and stuff. <laughs> I I seen a guy jump in front of a car. The phone's gonna be the death of them. Go in the doorway somewhere. She has to know she's stepping on that thing because it's it's kind of pulling on her. But if, if she doesn't know that, then she's I feel sorry for her though. Because she's in La La Land. Because she's stepping, she's breaking the whole freaking cord. She just kicked it off. Why is that cord hanging so low anyway? Because it's a pen. Yeah, that, that's, that can't be the pen. Is that the pen that low? I, I don't know what it is. To be honest with you. There's no way that. Cord, we'll see. Why is that pin that long though? Whatever that is. That thing should not be that long. That's a trip hazard. Somebody can get hurt. Yeah, they don't care. You can go up there and tell them. I'll let them know. Matter of fact, I might. And they won't do nothing about it. That woman's. You know what he'll say? Oh, okay. Instead of coming out immediately before someone right. falls. 
not later, not okay, let me do this right now, this quick two second errand, he will look at you like you're crazy. Oh, he does that, then he's got a problem himself. I mentioned it to him when I get up there, I say, hey, you know, this cord is definitely too long. I'm not going to do that. That's, that's not meeting the standards. What I want you to do is come get I want you to come. Hazard. I want you to fix that hazard so somebody get hurt. Right. But since you're not going to pay the million dollar settlement, you know, the post office is, you don't care. That's crazy because there's no way she should be kicking that cord with her foot like that. I mean, I, she, her, at one point her foot was wrapped around the friggin' thing. What you do is next time you come here, you bring your own chair and sit down. I bring some do coffee or some. Don't come here. <laughs> That's what you do. You come here. You, you, you come here when you want to kill time. I came here because I was driving by. And I said, "Might as well." And that's the same thing I did. I came to pick up my boy. I said, "Let me just take care of it. I'm here." And what I did, I, I was I was passing by, right? And I said, "You know what? Let me see how the post office is exactly. looking." I was I was on my way out the door, and I, I said, "Let me just I can grab this package any time." I said, "Let me grab it now while I'm here," you know. I went in the Dollar Tree earlier today to buy a hoochie. Uh, mm hmm. That's what spending $40. You know how Dollar Tree is. Wow. You think you're going in there to spend a dollar or two. Oh, yeah, I could use these rags. Oh, yeah, I could use these sandwich bags. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, oh, you got some cards on Valentine's Day. Let me grab three of them. Dollar. 4280, sir. Mm hmm. I'm going to buy two bleach. That's going to be for Waverly Support 2. Give her 10315. So he finally got his thing on. Uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully he's all set. Well, we hope anyway. What they told? They told him they can't do it. That's crazy, man. All that for nothing. <laughs> that's the that's the, that's, the, that's she's supposed to be a supervisor, isn't she? The one at the end. Supposedly, alle allegedly. Yeah, allegedly is more like. Allegedly, we'll say allegedly. Yeah, we definitely will say allegedly. Harry, four four seven, chance for ten. How many people in line now? Look at that. Look at that, that line getting longer and longer. Have you ever seen three windows open at the same time here? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. I've seen three or four. Three or four? Yeah, really. Right. I, I've seen two. I've never really seen... No, I definitely On Saturday? On Saturday? Yeah. 81. Let me just go see if I can walk over here. So she's um, just picking up that package. I'll let them know about that cord right there too. That cord is definitely hanging a lot right down there. I don't even know what the heck that's going to. The pin, the pin is right here. So I don't know what the heck that is over there. I might inquire who the postmaster is too before I leave. They should know who the postmaster is. Try to give them a call later on if I can. What is that cord? Is that is that a um is that a pen? I'm gonna pick this distinction. This isn't. I don't know why they, why they got that cord like that. That's crazy. That's, that's way too much cord up there. <laughs> Somebody's gonna get hurt. That's, that's all it takes is one person to get their foot tangled up on there. That's not ADA compliant whatsoever. Just, What's going on, Smitty? What's going on, my man? <laughs> Good long time no see. Give it up to you.
Amen. All right, good to see you. Amen. All right. Porter. I got a question. Who's the who's the postmaster here? Do, do they have one? You don't know? Wow, that's interesting. But I don't know if you know, there's a cord over here that's real long that somebody can trip on when they walk up to the counter. This next counter, there's a long, long cord that's draped on the floor. I don't know what it's for. It's, it's, I put it up on top of the counter, but it's, it's been hanging. They don't even know who the postmaster is. That's bad. Do they even have a postmaster? Do they even have a postmaster here? Or do you know? Postmaster is the, the guy that's head of the post office. A manager or whatever you call, We call him the postmaster. They, they don't have one of those? But see, the manager and the postmaster is two different people, though. I don't know. They, we'll figure it out. All right. You're saying postmaster. I... Did, did you never heard the terminology postmaster? I heard it, but I never, I never asked what it means. See, there's a long, long cord. See what that gentleman is standing right there? There's a long cord that's draped on top of the countertop. It was on the floor. This, this right here. I don't know why it's that long, but it's, it's real, real long for I don't know what reason. And uh, people were kicking it around, pulling on it. So I don't know what that's for. And somebody's going to end up tripping on that or something. I, I don't know. But uh, thanks. Have a good one. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. She's, she's going to fix it now. All right, have a good one, Smitty. Good seeing you, my man. All right. All right, guys. I'm heading home here. Do my, do my little activity around the city. Yeah, and these doors, look at this. These, these doors are like fire hats. Look at this. Now you have to push it the second time to open it. That's not good. All right, guys. Uh, a little activity in the post office down here in Dugley. I still call it Dugley, even though they call it Nubian, but it's Dugley. Head up out of here. Anything else comes up, we'll get back to you. The weather's getting nice. A lot of things going on out there. Just keep your eyes and ears open. Get you guys on the next one.